Hi, Nick. Welcome Hi. back to our new gigantic compact machine. It is truly gigantic, Isaac. So gigantic that I've even taken the liberty of adding space around this machine, Isaac, I... which is facing <sighs> the correct way. Nick, I was always taught that if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Um, Isaac, you don't like which... seeing this machine's <laughs> rear end? I love seeing this machine, machine's rear end. I've deliberately positioned its backside towards us, Isaac, so we can see its ports. I, um, I've never really taken too much stock in that uh, in that saying, Nick, so um, I'm, I'm going to come out and say that I hate this. Listen, <laughs> a, listen, I'm, I'm going to just... I'm just going to just... <laughs> go, uh, I, I, I did say when I was putting this down, hey, Isaac, I'm going to do it like this. Is that all right? And you were just like, yeah, whatever, mate. I, Probably wasn't listening. I <laughs> and I put it down. I we... thought you were going to build it with the back against the wall like a normal person. No, because no. if you just took this and like rotated it, you know, like 90 degrees clockwise, if you just pulled this round to here, I think it'd be perfect, right? Because then you can still access all the ports on the back. You can still do the power, the inputs, the outputs, whatever. But it just looks so much. Right now it's facing the wall. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it needs to think about what it's done, Isaac. It's been a naughty boy. <laughs> you can sit in your naughty corner, you oh, silly arc furnace. Gosh oh, dang it. Man. Well, um, you may remember, Nick, that there's quite a, um, a horrific like series of machinery required in order for us to actually use this arc furnace oh i remember isaac i do remember it was um there was i, I remember a white screen with quite a large amount of freehand text on it <laughs> um and just far too much chemistry yeah um for my brain's process it was some it was, it was some some weird words there was like uh sod was that one of the words and some other oh, stuff it might have been and, Oh. That sounds about right. Like something dioxide, maybe sulfur, oxygen dioxide. That's how yeah, that works, right? something like that. <laughs> um, the good news, Nick, is that uh, we're not going to work on that today. If you bounce back oh, out into uh, <laughs> into the main room. In <laughs> fact, Nick, um, so our current situation, as has been the situation for a little while now, mm -hmm. is that we need diamond nuggets. Once we oh, have diamond yes. nuggets, we can get like, you know, wireless access points for our refined storage system. We can make more refined storage parts. We can make external storages. The world becomes our oyster, Nick, as soon as we get more diamond nuggets, right? Correct. They're, Correct. The, they're the thing holding us back right now. So what I've done, if you come into uh, chopping and flopping mm -hmm. between streams, I have remade the ball on spaxel hose manually and put those uh -huh. in here. So our tree farm is going... Again, albeit th th this farm is still incredibly slow. We need to speed it up, man. We should mm. really maybe try and get that phyto grow, uh, you know, being made. Because I don't think this watering can is quite... Uh, it's not doing the trick. Not, not cutting the most of it. Well, it's not, not doing anything, I don't think, is it? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. it's using 50 FE per tick or 50 RF per tick. That might be about as much as it is doing for the... But, uh, but anyway, Nick, essentially, um, before now, we had quite a bit of wood. However, in the last stream, we set up a system that takes the wood, smelts it into charcoal, takes that charcoal, turns it into steel when combined with iron in the immersive engineering oh, we room. did. We did. So that's been draining. Yes. The log supplies, Isaac. Yes. Um, okay. Well, my next question then is, has, has it been fruitful? Have we been producing loads of steel? Well, and... yes. But the bad news is, Nick. So you'll see in here that right now we're backing up on charcoal. That's because I've turned off the charcoal output so right now I've, I've set it so that the charcoal doesn't go to the steel making room right because we need charcoal is the thing yes we if do. you look at the recipe if you type in charcoal it's ji and then mm -hmm. press u on it to see how it can be used yeah on the second page there's a manufacturing so you can turn charcoal into pulverized charcoal Right? Yes, which is how we've been creating. It's the tough alloys, right? And all well, that, all that if you press stuff. U again on that pulverized charcoal, mm -hmm. you can put it through another manufacturer to make graphite dust. Yes. If you press U on that again, you can go over to the pressurizer and you can turn graphite dust into coal. Uh, yes. Okay, because we wanted actual coal. Yes. For, um, oh, so what was it? Real coal can go into a redstone furnace that's been augmented to allow it to make coal coke. That's right? the one. And we That's can accelerate redstone furnaces using, you know, uh, machine upgrades and stuff and, and augments to make it faster so we can increase or drastically increase the speed at which we make coal coke as opposed to using the coke ovens, which are very, 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 very slow. And then once we have the coal coke, we can then, you know, grind it, squeeze it, twist it, hop it, bop yeah. it. And then we yeah. get, you know, you about blow to sell it me a toy, Isaac. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was actually going to go into From the... From like um... 2006. <laughs> <laughs> 
But um, uh, but then we can take that, right? So ideally, we want to have you know just loads of charcoal. Yeah, um, and of course, yeah, yeah. right now that's you know it's not happening. We've managed right. to acquire thirty eight since I I turned this off. Right. Uh, since I replaced the ball on Spaxel hose. Um, the good news, if you come on out of this room, Nick, and, and mm -hmm. head on over into uh, Don't Do Drugs, uh, aka the Kirkovan room. Yeah. We do have uh, 4,450 steel ingots. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that is really good. Okay. Well, at least there is a positive um, to be taken from this. That's that, good. There is. So the idea here, Nick, now is that I think we need to basically, if we can speed up the tree farm to make mm -hmm. more coal coke, uh, to make more charcoal, we can then hopefully automate the process of turning that charcoal into coal, into coal coke, into, you know, hot graphite ingots uh, that we can then use to make an unlimited number of diamond nuggets. We also do need to automate the production of steel, which we have obviously already automated, but we can't really do both, right? Unless we split the logs two ways, like have some yeah. of the charcoal go uh, into coal production, some go into steel production. We could do that, I guess, if we could speed up the, the, the charcoal the production, production fast enough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because we also then, it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy, because what we also need to do is we need to take all this steel that we have in ingot form, turn it into pickaxes, hit those steel pickaxes against the walls, because that's how you get boron, and then we need to teach our system how to make the boron spaxel hose. To do that, we need to make a crafter, which requires a diamond nugget. We also need to make an exporter with a crafting card, so we can export the crafted boron spaxel hose and have our crafting system make it automatically for us to keep the tree farm going automatically, to keep the steel coming in and to keep the hop graphite ingots going, to kind of perpetuate us forward. Do you get the idea? I do get the idea, man. I actually do get the idea. Okay, it's, perfect. Uh, yeah, yeah. We need, basically... It's kind of a we, chicken and the egg situation, right? It's like, we yeah, need eggs, but to get eggs, we need chickens. To make logs, we need eggs. And then also, the, the, the logs are required not just to make logs, but also loads of other stuff, yeah. basically. That's, that's, the, that's the way this is all crumbling up man and also the best bit isaac is we can finally get a second crafting grid uh for that's our true own actually use. yeah well <laughs> i hope we can get wireless crafting grids man so both of us oh, yeah, can just use them good. anyway that'd one thing really you're gonna nice. love nick is mm. that all of these compact machines are actually all in the same dimension i was gonna ask about that okay, yeah cool. so you, so you can, can just... use it no matter where you are like no matter yeah, what machine yeah. you're in in yeah. between rooms oh that's nice man that's pretty nice okay so what's the order of business here isaac because it's that classic thing of we set a goal and then we realize there's loads of steps before that. And then we complete some of those steps. But then we realize to complete those steps, there's steps required even before that. So yeah. you ever do that in real life, man? Like that's always the case, oh, right? Like definitely. the goals are never like, you know, they call them smart goals, right? Which are like, you know, there's an acronym for like oh, good, for goals is. being yeah, yeah. good, you know, time bound and, you know, realistic or whatever. But uh, whenever you make a goal in real life, it's always like, you know, I'm going to lose 25 pounds in the next week. And it's like, it's not going to work, right? Obviously, or I'm going to start making 3 million pounds a year. And it's like, oh, yeah, it turns out there's well, a few steps between. I went now into and the then. Ferrari showroom last week. <laughs> And I said, can I have a Ferrari? And he said, all right, do you can have... I have a Ferrari? <laughs> I went in and I said, can I have a Ferrari? And he first he looked at me, I was wearing my, I was wearing my, you know, my, my Nike tracksuit and my hoodie, hood up, obviously. Obviously. And he said, um, well, which one do you want? And I said, uh, which one would you recommend? <laughs> and he said, oh, what about this one? And I said, all right, you know, give me the card machine, bro. And it, it had a really big number on it, Isaac. Mm. And uh, my card actually got declined, unfortunately. Really? They didn't just put you into an overdraft? No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> ah. But no, but then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to have to become a millionaire now. So then I went to the bank and I said, please, can I have some money? And yeah. they were like, no, mate, you need a, well, you need a job. And mm. I was like, all right. So and then you I said, went I make, to my job. You said, I'm making two videos on the internet. Money. Like, what are you on about? I have a job. I just, exactly. And then they, You opened up youtube.com forward slash Nick and Isaac and you started And I showed playing... them, I pointed at it. And yeah. I said, I could use this as collateral. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then I and then I realized Isaac that um, you know I have to actually do better at my job um, or do more. And then mm. I went to do more Isaac, and then I was like, okay, well then I have to also create more Nick and Isaac videos. Mm. Um, and then that's why from next week we're going to have more streams per week. That's true. coming soon. <laughs> so there we go. So literally started at the front Isaac, and then at each stage realized where I have to do something before that to uh, to get to the stage in front and that's exactly uh full circle what we what we need to do here isaac um 
So I had plans, Nick. Like I, I had plans for today's stream because there, there were other problems that we that we are going to run into. One of those mm. problems is that the Arc Furnace uses four thousand and ninety six oh, redstone flux per tick. Um, <laughs> right. So we're going to have to make our reactor bigger, sure, right, to produce sure. more power. Mm -hmm. um, that's its own kettle of worms. Uh, we can do that, but of course, again, a lot of the reactor is made using tough alloy, which is boron oh, and it's ferroboron and. and, and Ferroboron and lithium, right? Yeah, together. Yeah. And the ferroboron and lithium you get from automating steel pickaxes against the wall, right? That's so yeah. it, it, it all, you know, it's, it's all the circle, right? It's, it's a circle, circle of life, man. Exactly. Yeah. So I think step one, phase one, Nick, the beginning, is gonna be automating phyto growth. To replace right, to make the, the tree... watering can to make the trees faster. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Stronger, yeah. As uh, as Daft Punk once said, yeah. Mm-hmm. And Kanye West, all and Kanye West, in, in yeah. collaboration After, with that one, yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, to make the phyto grow, I've just made a, a new sequential fabricator. The oh, phyto grow nice. here uh, is made using sawdust, nitre, and slag. Right. So, right. sawdust we have, and it's yes. in pooping it's, and duping, I believe. Yeah, it's wherever. Um... We, 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 there is it. It's like in a corner somewhere, right? Yeah, it's in, yeah. The, it's in a cache inside oh, of Poopy and Duping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need to get that out of here. Yeah. Uh, we also need to get the slag, which is in the coke oven room. We do have yeah. again four thousand slag as well. We have the same amount of slag as we do steel. So we need to get that, as well as the sawdust, both out of there. And then we need to combine that with nitre. Nitre we can make in chopping and flopping. Uh, we did set up this cobblestone generator with a manufactory. The manufactory turns cobblestone into sand. We need to craft that sand into sandstone and then run it through, I think, another manufactory. And if we do that, that will produce nitre. I'm pretty okay. sure. So right. that's the current, the current situation. My question, I guess, to you, Nick, is how confident are you on your... Like, you've not done this yet, Nick. But how no. confident are you on your tunneling abilities? Like, if oh, I asked you to get the, the sawdust and the slag to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, right, how long have we got? We've got, <laughs> we got another hour and 40 minutes. I think I might need another day and 40 hours. <laughs> okay, in that case then, Nick, how about, could you take the charcoal that mm -hmm. is currently available in Chopping and Flopping? Um, and any charcoal yeah. that you can find or, or make or produce. Um, and could you turn that into hop graphite ingots for me? Yes, I can do that. Um, so you charcoal... basically need to like charcoal, manufactory, manufactory, pressurizer, which you might have to make. I don't think we have a pressurizer. Yeah, yeah. Actually, just, you know what? Just get a, started, right? I've got, a, I've got a plan for you here. Hold on. <clears throat> Thanks, man. Um, all right. Don't you worry. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, He's on it. He's on, I'm it. on it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Here we go. So, ooh, <laughs> you, you wrote you were about to sign something, <laughs> Isaac. <laughs> Man, you fank. Then this is just <laughs> this is incredibly useless because you you have Jay like I do, but no, I no, like no, it no, anyway. no. I want I want him to. I want this. I want whatever you're doing, Isaac. And I want you to do it every single time. <laughs> you want me to do something? It'll be like push my glasses up my nose, right? It'll be like ah. Let me have a look again at what I need to do. And it's like, step one, big, big letters. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, here we go. And then uh, this is then Crusher followed by <laughs> <laughs> Squeezer. That's nice, old Squeezer. Uh, 8X. And then Smelt. And then TNT. When have a lot. Okay. Here you go, Nick. Uh, here is uh, a clipboard with all of your... Uh, if you right-click, it has your instructions uh, oh, written down. It's like using Trello. Oh, <laughs> if you, bloody you tick can tick it, it off, off, man, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's beautiful. I love it. Oh, is it, it actually is a bit like Trello. Oh, I love it. All right. Um, right, so charcoal is... Um, it's in chopping, it's in chopping and, flopping. and flopping. Yeah, it is. Now, we do also have, I think, a little bit of fighter growing yeah. the system. So you, you can, if you want to, like, you know, force accelerate the the, the sapling that's here to try and get uh, more. Yes. Because, of Maybe course, I you, do that. we're going to get... So for every eight charcoal that you have, you get you can turn that into eight regular coal, into eight coal coke, and then into eight 
you know, crushed whole coke into eight hop graphite dust mm. into one hop graphite ingot. So eight charcoal equals one hop graphite ingot. And the odds of getting a diamond nugget are 20%. So for every five hop graphite, so basically every 40 charcoal you have will get you one diamond nugget, approximately. Right. So right? I've got 42 on me, so this exactly. is equivalent to somewhat maybe one diamond nugget. All yeah, right. which is not great. No, man. Unfortunately <laughs> not. Um, but that's why we could do with more charcoal, right? We do have, so we've got 110 oak logs in uh, oak wood in the system, right? You could drop those in the uh, nuclear furnaces here and really, Oh, know, yeah, just go blitz, Like mad. triple up your I'm gonna do that. nugget I'm gonna do you that. Know, potential. Um, excellent. I've also got. Are we going to take all of the phyto grow? We don't. We don't need to. We don't need the phyto grow for anything. You it's can, not like uh, a replicated thing, is it? Okay, that's no, no, good. no. You are free to uh, free um, to steal that, man. Excellent. And I'm assuming I can just swap out uh, the watering can for it. Does uh, that, the that watering work? can is pointing down right now, whereas it should uh, be pointing right, okay, at the yeah. thing. But you can just right click it on like bone meal, uh, um, and it'll work yeah. just fine. Yeah. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Chat has also pointed out that this machine called the factorizer here, which uh, is giving me like math flashbacks, man. But uh, the the factorizer is uh, a better way of crafting sand into sandstone than the sequential fabricator. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, that is that is very good. Um, ow! This <laughs> phyto grow this tree. It's not one one phyto grow per per uh, sapling. No, right? no. I'll take a I'll take a few. Uh, oh, you might, yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, I'd yeah. stand back because if you stand in the, in the where the leaves are going to be, oh, uh, that's why it was. It not can working. disturb disturb it the can piece. Disturb balance. Yeah, right. exactly. I see. I see. I understand the, the balance. <laughs> 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 okay. Disturb the aura and the feng shui, Isaac. Um, I had a freaking manufacturing man. Here we go. Go make make stuff a, a big old manufactory. Isaac. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do it, man. Here yeah, go. I'm gonna go use um manufactory. Here we go. Charcoal. It's uh, it's down here, man. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's just uh, uh, oh yeah, it's top just left. Here. Yeah, we That's could do fine. with a better system for that. Uh, also, but, here's your uh, charcoal. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm just uh, nicking some speed upgrades as well. Here ah, we sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so we are going to have to upgrade our uh, our reactor, like I said, for the for the arc furnace because that that does use a lot of power. Um, yes. So which, how much are we producing? In like a thousand eight hundred, is it? Or uh, well, I think we're producing eight hundred. Yeah. So like eight hundred in combination with some of our other stuff, we might be producing a thousand total. But like right. that's you know just where, where we're at. We can well, do with a lot more. At. Okay, yeah. I I see. I see. And we need like four thousand for just the arc furnace. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to need quite a bit more overhead on top of the four thousand. So yeah. Thankfully the um. The reactor is is very scalable, right? Uh, yes. As yes. you get bigger, the amount of power goes up quite fast, right? So it's not like you double it and it doubles the power. It's like you double it and like the power like quadruples or whatever, right? So it's mm. uh, you get a lot more power a lot faster as you start to make it bigger and bigger and bigger. Obviously, it starts to use more uranium, but we have uh, a, a comically large amount of uranium at the moment, right? So yes, which be, is uh, which is brilliant because I remember, good. man, back in day. When we were struggling for uranium, like yeah. I was there and I was like, radioact me, Isaac, radioact me. <laughs> yep. And you were like, I'm sorry, man, like I want to, but we just don't have any uranium. And, uh, you know, I start crying and it all became a bit of a HR disaster, Isaac. And yeah. The, the amount of paperwork you, I had to fill out there, man, it's... Uh, you know how it goes. Yeah. 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 So hel I called it health and safety, man. I said, the, uh, listen, there's not enough radioactivity in here. I'm not getting excited. Yeah, and so they uh, they bought you the Imagine Dragons album, and uh, now we're, it's fine. And now I'm all right, yeah. yeah I've been, no. been, been slamming it out. He's got radioactive playing nonstop in his earbuds, yeah. he's, he's, he's all right with it. <laughs> uh, I, feel, I've, I think I know how that song goes, but it's I'm like, not going to do it. That's it, radioactive. Yeah, that's, it's okay. We're bad enough at singing it. Yeah. The YouTube <laughs> algorithm's not going to clock that. <laughs> Trust me, Isaac. I, I get I get told to shut up enough times when I start singing that uh, I I know I'd never get copyright strikes. <laughs> DMCA for it. DMCA. It's a cover, Isaac. It's a cover. It's always just a cover. Okay. So the the, the thing is, like, the easiest way here for us to get the sawdust and the slag into chop, uh, chopping and flopping is going to be via the use of refined storage. Right. Okay. Do you know what I mean? If we can just put down and external storage inside of the machines that already have them, right? So, like, the, the pooping and duping is where the sawdust is. If we can just get an external storage onto that sawdust cache, and then in the in another room we can have an exporter that exports the sawdust, you know, directly to where it needs to be, that's going to be the easiest way to do it, because right now we're kind of, you know, at capacity in terms of what we can move from room to room without completely reorganizing the state of our current, you know, uh, cubic lineup. Yeah, so I sense. guess what you're saying is if we try and use, if we use our tunnels for refined storage, then we can actually 
put shove multiple different things through those tunnels because yeah, it's and just we, through refined storage as opposed to actually like piping each individual thing yeah yeah which and it becomes a lot easier to move limited. things like it becomes a lot easier to distribute like one resource to multiple cubes because you can just have sure. one external storage and then an exporter anywhere in the universe so long as it's connected to the refined storage system yeah, right yeah. whereas now, if we had, like, sawdust and we needed to go to four different places, we'd have to have, like, four different item ducts coming out of the cube all going to the different cubes, and, you know, it'd be a, a nightmare, right? Yeah, no, I, I, I get you, man. I get you. That's, uh, yeah, very good. Very so good. the trouble is external storage. Let's have a look. So the, the exporter requires one diamond nugget, and the external storage also requires one diamond nugget. And we need at least two external store eye story Story Please? external store eye. <laughs> yeah, need two it's... hard drives, Isaac. <laughs> All right. We need two hard drives. <laughs> so we need like three diamond nuggets minimum. Sure, okay. Uh, also, I did notice by the by that there is more charcoal in uh, oh. this room. I can uh, I've got twenty six more. Oh perfect. All right. Um that's good. Cause we're at I think we we probably could produce like a pretty decent amount here, man. Or again, if we nuggets. need, what do we need? Did I say we need four or three? One, two, three. We need three of them, right? That's fine. We've got the 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 supposed the theoretical maximum theoretical amount. Yeah, yeah. We sorry, require was... for for that. There you go. There's your puffer. Thanks, man. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Do we have more speed upgrades somewhere? By the way. Um, oh, yeah, there's 24 oh, yes. in the system, man. Yeah, yeah, there's loads. I, is there I not enough energy? In... Is that the trouble? Yeah, that's the ah. trouble. So we do have um, energy upgrades lying around as well. Oh, do we have them lying around? I was light. I was, I don't know, use the term lightly, uh, heavily, but I was very lightly <laughs> looking for them, didn't find them. I was like, okay, I'm going to go do something else. Yeah, here we go. Um, that. Boom. Oh, perfect. Energy right, upgrades let's, in and suddenly uh, we're... Let's add more speed upgrades in then. Oh, there we go. All right, now we're cooking with gas, man. Yeah. yeah. Right now, how many speed upgrades can I can I use? Um, we got oh, twenty. Oh, yeah. There, three, there we 22, go. 21, 20. 20. <laughs> Still, that's very fast, right? No, that is really. You good. um, you you cook with gas, man, or do you cook with electricity no, these days? I cook with electricity these days. Uh, I do miss gas, um, because I miss I, gas. I like the fine, the very fine control of gas, and also mm. the lack of heating time. Like I've got these electric hot plates. And they take a hot minute, or I should call it a cold minute, to heat up, Isaac. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can always produce your own gas, man. Like you know, it's, That's uh... true. I did go to the energy company with that. Um, <laughs> however, they, they <laughs> just folded right in front of me, Isaac, because they said that... They, so here's what the happened. The market like. would collapse if they let you just produce your own gas. Like I went that, to man, them. Like... I said, hey, I could offer you some gas, wink. <laughs> and they said, what the hell, man? And then they, we got into a bloody gas crisis. <laughs> yep. And they're like, Nick, they called me up. They were ringing me. They was like, Nick, Nick, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, we'll take your gas. We'll take any gas. We're actually being charged $100 by the barrel. I said, I've got no more to give you, boys. Do they, do, and, do they sell gas by the barrel? And the they barrel folded. <laughs> they folded right in front of my very eyes, Isaac. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> yeah, for um, people without context, the UK is like gas is just like running low right yeah. now so gas is really expensive which makes me quite happy because i i always have talked about how expensive electricity is as opposed to gas but now everyone's in the same boat isaac because gas is now as expensive as electricity or even more but no i don't cook with gas man however i do like um the, the gas the gaseous method of heating things mm. um yeah. I wonder if they, what we need to do, man, is we need to think. We need to uh, to put. We need to devise a way of using electricity to produce gas. Like, how do we convert electricity into gas? Yeah. Any ideas? Ooh. Hmm. Well, maybe if you gave me an electric shock, I might produce some gas. <laughs> like, <laughs> if we go and, by uh, the same theme as, as discussed, uh, just yeah. how many how, like... many how many how many uh, how many times do you think we could do that like sequentially before <laughs> before we need a new dick. <laughs> <laughs> to supply. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know about that one, man. Um, how do we... I mean, you need electricity to produce hydrogen, right? Is that true? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It depends, so electrolysis. Wait, 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 I'm going to say, if you're, the, the caveat being if you're getting your hydrogen from water, right? Uh, yeah. God, how is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get it, I'm trying to think about how they do it with cars. And yeah, they do take water. They split it. And then they... The cars... We put it back together essentially which produces electricity and then uh, the cars go brum brum and well they don't go brum brum they silently go forward and they produce water oh you're talking about electric cars 
I'm talking about uh, hydrogen cars. Hydrogen cars? Do you have a hydrogen car? No, unfortunately sure? I don't. <laughs> Did you mean Hyundai cars? <laughs> <laughs> I meant hydrogen cars. <laughs> yeah, no. I meant, I mean, although, although, wait, hold on a second, right? <laughs> Tell me I don't have a hydrogen car. It's got it's, a H on the front, man. Like, it's got a H heck? on the front. I thought it meant hydrogen. Oh, that's and what they, that meant. They even said they give me a seven-year warranty, Isaac. And I was like, oh, that's really good. And, uh, uh, must be all you know, that hydrogen. <laughs> It's all that hydrogen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you know. Oh, man. Yeah. Hydrogen, hydrogen cars. Oh. Yeah, fortunately, there's not enough hydrogen fuel stations near me, Isaac. And also... <laughs> <laughs> I imagine Nick hot. running around like to R- children's birthday it? party, stealing up, balloons. Lads. I can't fill up. <laughs> oh. oh man! You just like stealing children's birthday balloons, sucking the hydrogen out, <laughs> pumping it into your car. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I feel the balloons filled with hydrogen. God, I mean, it's helium, not hydrogen. I'm I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, damn, those that balloon market, man. The black market on balloons <laughs> must be must be popping off. Oh. Uh. Oh man, no, I need to get sticks out of here, man. I, get, the, get the sticks out, bro. Hey, did you ever have a bop it, Isaac? When you oh yeah, were, uh... for sure. Like yeah. twist it, pull it, spin it, flick it, bop it. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think I w- always wanted a bop it. Oh yeah. Um, but I I wasn't allowed one. But then my little brother was allowed one. Um, mm, always the he... worst. It right. Yeah, Am I right? I, uh, you know, we're, we're both oldest siblings, Nick. You know, mm-hmm. I, I know your pain, my friend. I, I know yeah, that. Yeah, man, I know he got the, it. He got the, the bloody the DS as well. <laughs> uh, but I got the I got the GameCube. So we're all <laughs> I'm just turning into an old man here. I got the GameCube, and he got the N64. Um, yeah, no, boppets were cool. But I've been thinking about that recently. I'm like, damn, the amount of like just plastic toys. Yeah. That we used to have as kids. Now, now you just get the get your child an iPad, right, and that's it. You wash your hands yeah. off it, and then they just do everything on there. Um, kind yeah. of mad. So, yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, crazy, man. All right, here we go. Right, I need to first of all uh, reprocess. Um, oh no, I've got my graphite. Okay, yeah, we're good. Right, next stage, pressurizer. Yeah, okay, that's what I'm working on. Let's make some freaking things. Gosh, go I, 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 I need like a handbook that n- walks me through where all of my tunnels go. Because oh, yeah, I, man. <laughs> you need like a engineering diagram for that. For I'm that currently garbage, trying to man. figure out like where where things go and I've got no idea. Yeah, like, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a tunnel that goes from actually held to, to the coke oven room. I don't know where it is or what it's for or why it exists. Where right. is the tunnel that points? Is it that one up there? Is it there? It must be. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually, if it's this one here. You figured it out, man. Yeah, it's figured going it out. east, which is this one. Okay. So I need to get... I need to get sticks. Okay. This is nightmarish. Because <laughs> we have, inside of pooping and duping... Mm-hmm. There is another compact machine. Inside that compact machine, the one called Got Wood, is our wood making process. The one that actually produces wood and produces sticks. That those wooden sticks need to come out of Got Wood into pooping and duping, out of pooping and duping, into actually hell, out of actually hell, into don't do drugs, aka the coke oven room, so that I can then have them pump into a sequential fabricator that can craft them into steel pickaxes to then collect all of the resources that come from automating the production of steel pickaxes. But that's like nine levels deep. Oh man, that's a lot of levels, man. It is. We just need what's the what's the next size of uh, compact machine? Is it like colossal or like big boy or something I think like that? Think about maximum. Maximum. Yeah, we're, we're, we've got giant. Next one is is maximum. Max. Oh it. Oh it is maximum. God, jeez, they think they're the iPhones now, don't they? Jeez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> iPhone fourteen maximum. <laughs> maximum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I wouldn't favorite. be surprised to be honest. Yeah, Isaac, I'm producing coal. Nice, I'm producing real, actual, organic coal. Nice, nice, nice. You in love this pressurizer. To see it, man. Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. Beautiful. Okay. So let me let me consult the thing. Uh, oh, okay. Don't forget then to keep yourself. The uh, don't forget to keep yourself full upon poop as well, man. If you're uh, hungry. Oh yeah, I've not been looking at that. Actually, I'm only one and a half chicken legs down, which is good. I've been very efficient, Isaac. I've been standing in one place mm. and just really, like uh, reaching around. Really keeping your uh, 
base metabolic rate nice and low. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to speed that up, man. It means that, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I have to eat more. That's Isaac, true. To, to, and I'm you know, being efficient. Man. I um, you know, I, I want to complain about this, man. You know, I've uh, I've uh, I've complained many times on this on this show on this mm -hmm. channel uh, mm -hmm. in a in a recurring segment called "Tall People Are People Too" oh, about yes, of the uh, the struggles of of being a tall person, man. No one thinks about the fact that if you're if you're a taller person, you got to eat more, man. Like you, yeah, you, you, you well, just burn more calories passively. I could go with that one, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> See my delivery history. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the heck's that? You got to, you know, life's more expensive if you're if you're taller. Like, what in the? And it's yeah, never taken into true. consideration. You You've know, you got to buy um, bigger t-shirts. Yeah, well, tell I mean, you what, man. Some, thankfully, those some are not more expensive. <laughs> charge you more. I was in an outlet a couple months ago. And uh, I picked up this jumper and I was like, oh, yeah, I really like this jumper. And it was like 50 quid. And I was like, oh, quite expensive. But then it was like XL, right? So mm. I found that the, the XS, right? To not to be confused with XS, which is As not the, the non-two-letter uh, acronym. Yeah. I'm just talking extra small. Yeah. And it was like 34 quid. And I was like, oh, 16 wow. pounds just for just because because uh, I'm a small boy. I think, Isaac. Wait, so the, the the big one was more expensive? The big one was more expensive. Wow. I've never I, seen that before. So I think I think that's not the case of the big one being more expensive. I think it's the case of excess being such Less an unused in size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's usually the case. I'm, I'm quite appreciative of that because whenever I look at sales in places, um, like everything on sale is on sale because there's only one size left. And yeah, that's yeah. usually S or mm -hmm. XS or yeah, XXL. Yeah, I hate that, man. You go to a, a clothing website, and it's like, you know, up to 65% off everything. And you start going through, and like you said, they've got they've got one size in yeah. everything. It's always XS. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, boy. Oh, do you, buy you're, you're onto an XS? I'm actually just an S oh, okay. um, in most things. I used to be XS, Isaac. Wow. But now I've filled out. Because of said delivery orders, right? Um, <laughs> no, no, no. I am just, uh, I am just an S. Um, and I also, I used to be like a, uh, I used to be like five years ago, right? If something wasn't like hugging every single pore of my skin, <laughs> I wouldn't get it. But now I'm more into the like, slightly looser fitting stuff. <laughs> so uh, that also plays a slight uh, part in it as well. But that's um, what I'm saying, man. Like, you know. It's never. T I, I think we need to. I think tall people need to rise up. Honestly, yeah. well, no, you already have done that, Isaac. <laughs> 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 I think you've uh, got, got a bit ahead of yourself there. <laughs> uh, oh, you know. Oh man. <laughs> uh, in fairness, I think it all pans out right because um, you always hear about like um, about. Like CEOs always being like over six foot, right? And yeah, like presidents always that? being like over six. Foot. It's it's supply and demand. Like we, we, it costs more to be tall. Like That's it's just yeah, <laughs> yeah. It actually costs more for companies to, to get taller people too. I've noticed that in the uh, the company that I work for, all the freaking VPs, man, they're like twelve foot tall. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> The imposing factor, yeah, like, man, must play the, a big part, man. That's why. But that, like I said, you, you've got to give tall people those jobs, man, because they need to be able to to eat. You know, like it's just that's be... true. <laughs> <laughs> Work their way up just to freaking, you know, get the energy, in. the sustenance. You know, their 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 BMR is going to be like 150 calories more than somebody who's oh, like geez. five foot tall. Can need like an extra freaking crumpet in the morning. That's man. like that's like three extra McChicken nuggets, yeah. man. You and know, also, they're... all, all CEOs <laughs> wake up at three a.m. as that's well. That's true. Isaac. So they're actually awake for a longer period of the day. Exactly. So they man. need even more food on top of that. No, nah, I'm, I'm glad we are. I'm glad you're on my side now, Nick. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you, you, you're a CEO, I guess, Isaac. I, yeah, you could, that's on yeah, your yeah, LinkedIn, so. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My uh, my LinkedIn says. Um, CEO of uh, Nobly Ends Ltd. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, you don't wake up at three a.m. You're just still yeah, awake. No. At exactly. 3 yeah. yeah. Exactly. Never. But I mean, in. it still counts, doesn't it? <laughs> do you go on a five a.m. jog, Isaac? That's what they all oh do as well. Do you go on a, no, sorry, a five five a.m. run. I I need to know like how many what they're on. I, I want to know for how many people that's actually the case, right? Because you always mm. see it. It's like you know. Oh, it's like you'll see it in your YouTube recommendations, like, like, right? And it's like the life of a CEO, and it's like a twenty-four-year-old, whatever. And it's like I wake up every morning at four thirty-one a.m. 
you know, and then he gets out of bed and he's like, then I jog 900 miles, right? And he's like, all the while I'm listening to six different informative podcasts to make sure that I have all of the information I need to tackle my, and I'm just like, what? This can't be real, right? Am I, am I losing my mind? Like, and and the, the other thing is they all, they all read just... 24 they're doing their freaking they 6 a.m reading, run and they're reading man that's that's what i was saying i was saying they're listening to like an audiobook right like they're just like yeah they're, they're, they're yeah. never they're never they never shut down man it's 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 wild there's no it's way wild. it's crazy i mean freaking like i feel like i feel like for these for those kind of interviews the they need to be like random spot interviews right so it's just like one day the, the reporter just turns up at your home and yeah, you don't know they're coming stops them yeah so like hey <laughs> well, turns up at their house at six AM. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they're, they're leaving. They're, they're still in bed. They don't actually go up till nine forty-five. Yeah, they're it's snoring only away. There. They go and they turn on bloody Netflix and start watching Squid Game, right? Instead of reading. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, man. Exactly, man. Yeah, they freaking. I'm on to you, CEOs. I'm on to you. Um, hey, do we have a spare redstone furnace just down, or I'm just, or should I just make one? Um, I think they're all. God, they're all... That's an induction spell. I'm going to make one, man. We can... Okay. Here we go. Uh, we, we might have one. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need like one more. No, yeah, that's we're all good. Um, yeah, man. Here we go. Freaking... Jeez. You, uh, want, you, uh... ever, you ever contemplate waking up like an hour earlier to, to, oh, to jog? <laughs> I have multiple times um, thought about doing that before. And every single time my alarm has gone off, and I'm like, lol, no. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> not, not today, though. <laughs> you no, know, yeah. I'm maybe like, tomorrow. I'm like, maybe tomorrow. Maybe. At a stretch. I'm like, I mean, freaking, even when my um, my alarm goes off like 10 minutes earlier than I, let's say, let's say tomorrow I want to wake up 10 minutes earlier than usual. My alarm will go off 10 minutes earlier. I'm like, nah, mate. I'm having that extra 10 minutes. Yeah. Like, forget that. So I'm, like, on that level, right? Let alone freaking waking up a whole hour earlier. I'll only do it if I absolutely have to. Like, if I need to go somewhere or if, you know, if, I'm, if I've am i got to, uh, to attend, like, a meeting or something. Like, then I'll do it. But I've, there has to be, like, full incentive, man. Um, otherwise, it just ain't happening. Yeah, that's otherwise fair, man. Just ain't happening. That's fair. Uh, uh, you're gonna hear what I've done in here, by the way. Oh yeah. Uh, just a, just a, just a. Heads, okay, that's good. Heads uh, up. Um, yeah, I want I wanted to let you know of that ahead of time. Ahead of time. You're gonna, you're gonna really dislike no it. I, I also just like prizes. I, uh, I actually kind of prefer going for like walks and stuff in the evening, man. Yeah, like, after I quite dark. like. I quite look going like going for evening walks. It's, after, uh, yeah, it's quieter, dinner, man. yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Not, no one for sure, busy. for sure, and um, also like, uh, there's something something about the weather as well. It's just a little bit more mellow, right? Yeah, for sure. We can don't know what, what's happening recently in the Midlands, at least. But if we can wake up, man, and bloody, I will go out to get my morning coffee, and I'll like freeze to death. I'm like, jeez, it's so cold. Yeah. Then I think that's called winter. Yeah, no, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what's happening in the <laughs> in this on. country, man. It's getting cold. <laughs> Something about this UK. <laughs> I think it might be Brexit related. Like, what, oh well, what it probably is Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> do you freaking not get that weather either? Uh, um, I've been. Uh, oh, I'm being an idiot. Um, and then so I'm like, all right, God, I need to put a jumper on. So I wrap up, put a jumper on. I'm all good. <laughs> then I go out in the afternoon. To get my second coffee. And the freaking sun will start like beating me down and yeah. making me sweat. And I'm like, what is going on, man? Something something's up, Isaac. I'm watching you, weather. I'm watching yeah. you. Jeez. You think there's, uh, you think there's like a uh, some you think something fishy's going on. Something fishy's going it's on. It's like a secret sure. cabal of of weather organizers who are yeah. messing things up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, secret cabal. <laughs> <laughs> I like the word cabal, man. I know, I like it too, man. Oh, I'm, I'm being so. How is that de define cabal? <laughs> yeah, what the hell is a cabal? It sounds like I'm kebab. pretty sure it's. I'm pretty sure it's correct. Let's have a look. Yeah, so a cabal is a secret political clique or faction. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, I got my vocabulary down, man. Don't question it. Oh, freaking, I got my eye on you, Isaac. The only kind yeah. of people who know that it would be the people who are in that. I, Nick, I get up at 4.30 every morning. I read the freaking thesaurus, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's your book of choice. I uh, bet they've not got a blink kiss for that, do they? <laughs> oh, man. I will let you, uh, let you finish up here. Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, you're okay. done, cool, okay. Let me just do this, and then do this. Right, we're in our next phase here, Isaac. Ooh, I'm gonna phase two, nice. Upgrade this redstone furnace. I'm going to put in the... Uh, this was made a while ago, wasn't it? The freaking pyrolytic conversion augment. It was made a very long time ago, It yes. was, wasn't it? And then... Here we go, just put some coal in. Do I just put some coal in? You just put some coal in, man. Just put some coal in. Just stick some coal in. Now, like I said, if you um, if you if you open up the energy Crap. tab, um, putting in the pyrolytic conversion augment reduces the power usage down from the default, which I think is like twenty five, down to three fe right. per tick. Um, so it's 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 slow. Yeah. Now, what we, obviously this only has the one the one upgrade slot. Kit. Yeah. Yeah, we can make actually like we already have the stuff here man freaking are you ready boom i got a reinforced upgrade kit oh boom. beautiful already up to four rf per tick that's a freaking 33 oh, percent increase start, right there you know, talking to uh accounting about that one isaac they might start you know clamping down over, just over you wait, stretching man. here we go that 33 we, percent going in that 33 percent increase is about to go up even higher okay boom and boom now we're eight that's another 50% on top of the 33%. Oh, here we go. We're cooking with gas now, lads. Yeah. Well, coal, I guess. <laughs> We're cooking with coal. Now, uh, if we were to go even higher, uh, I think we would have to upgrade to the uh, the Signalum uh, upgrade kit, which right. we have Signalum. We have Electrum. We need Cryothium dust. Oh, sorry, Cryothium dust to make that um, work. Do we have any? No. So no. Cryothium dust you make with redstone, snowballs, and blaze powder. Oh, yes, I'm thinking of pyrothium dust, which mm. I have made, but I've not made the uh, cryothium dust. Redstone we have. Snowballs we could make. I'm pretty sure a standard yeah, glacial precipitator mm. would get the job done. Mm -hmm. The blizz powder, if I remember correctly, is a nightmare. <laughs> so yeah. blizz powder we get by infusing snowballs with liquid XP. Right. And so we'd have to set up some kind of liquid XP generating system. Oh, no, wait, you can also... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is that like a... No, that doesn't work, right? Because it, it takes more than it makes. Oh. Oh, that's... Ooh. 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 Oh, no, okay. So, oh, I see. Yes, okay. So, in a, what we can do is, once we've got one set of blaze powder, so we can use XP to get the initial blaze powder, right? We can make, like, so two. Once mm -hmm. you have two blaze powder, you can then combine two blaze powder with 1,000 millibuckets of oxygen gas, in a fluid infuser from Nuclear Craft to make one blizz rod, you can then use, pulverize that one blizz rod into four blizz powder and then take that four blizz powder and again with oxygen gas make more blizz rods, right? So once we have two blizz powder, we can essentially set up an infinite blizz powder making system that just uses oxygen. And of course, oxygen we can get by running water through an electrolytic separator. Right. You understand the process? Sorry, I just couldn't stop thinking about how someone put in the chat, ice cubes float in a pool of their own blood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm deeping that. <laughs> oh, I hate it. That caught me out. That really caught me out at the, at the worst time. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So, uh, uh, oxygen, Isaac, yeah, yes. Basically, two blizz powder plus yeah. one bucket of oxygen equals a blizz rod. That one blizz rod can be pulverized into four blizz powder, oh, essentially okay. doubling the blizz powder. Okay, okay, and okay. then you can craft the blizz powder, uh, and then you can do the same again with the blizz powder and oxygen, and then just keep going, right? So, at the cost yeah. of oxygen, we can make infinite blizz powder. Yeah, a uh, 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 power of uh, doubling rate as well, right? Exactly, Which yeah. is really, that's pretty impressive. Um, and the... Uh, the oxygen is just made from an electrolytic... Uh, it's called an electrolyzer in nuclear craft. Right. But it takes water and produces hydrogen and oxygen, right? So pretty pretty standard stuff. Um, yeah. Again, the electrolyzer is one of those machines that's painfully slow. And if you want to upgrade it, it does require a lot of power. Right, I see. So, so pretty pretty standard nuclear craft exactly. recipes then, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'd have to... 
we, we can make that work though. And then sure. at that point we can start making the cold coke. And then we could use that to make the this freaking red stuff furnace faster. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Gosh, it is slow, isn't it? It is quite slow, isn't it? <laughs> this is the, one of those classic <laughs> times where I'm like, Jeez. God, I wish we had those uh, time ones. Um, yeah. All those like pedestal clocks, right? So well, we can just is, cheat out of this and just make things faster. The thing is, man. All right, so wait, we, we, we got halfway through the system. Oh, no, we, I was just, I was going to say, we got halfway through the night making system, but the reason we only got night making, making the I can't speak. The reason that we only got partway through the night making system is that we needed diamond nuggets to get the exporters and crafters mm -hmm. and stuff to make the thing right, I understand. Mm -hmm. Because what I was going to say is we kind of need to automate this, right? Like you've done this manually. Yes. You've taken yes, yes, yes. the charcoal, you've manufactured it, manufactured it, and done all the stuff. Yeah. What we need to do is we need to make new manufacturers and put them like in here so that all of the charcoal is automatically turned into coal and then automatically made into uh, coal coke and then automatically crushed and squeezed and yeah, smelted. Yeah, because then at that point, the slowness of the system is not quite so bad because we can just leave it on. Exactly. While it's we're away and by it'll the, be all right. Yeah, exactly. Outpaced by time. Exactly. Um, we can use time to our advantage, Nick. Yeah. But um, Diamond Nuggets, Isaac, hopefully should be, you know, somewhat on their way. We're, we'll be on the next uh, bit soon. So so I'm assuming I just put this whole lot of cold coke through the crusher. Yes. And then through the squeezer. Where the heck is the crusher, man? Oh, I was a, wondering that. It was in the room of, of death, right? Well, like, we never go in here, man. It's just oh, there. right. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> we we spent to, enough time in here, Isaac. This Jeez. used to be home, man. There it used did, to be stuff up it? here, and oh, this was this oh, living man. the life, man. It's like oh, when um, it's like you you move out somewhere, um, and then maybe or you you like in school, like you suddenly your your form room or classroom that you do registration in changes, and then you end up in your old one for some reason or the other, and you're like, oh god, this is horrible. This, this place, yeah. <laughs> this place, jeez, how did I ever spend time in here? But it was home. It was it home was for home. so long. But now we're free, Nick. Now we're free. <laughs> now we're free. Now we're, now free. we're free. Now we are free, citizens. <laughs> okay, I've, I've rotated, I've manually made some phytographer now, and I've rotated the um, the clicker. I'm going to put this down here as well so we can... So we're getting wood at a much more quick pace. Oh, nice. I actually have nine phytographer left as well, so I can... Uh... Nice. Add to that. Let me go in, actually. Let me help out with this. Yeah, it's, there's just a hopper waiting for you when you get in there. Uh, oh, I just stick it in here, do I? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Let me just... Perfect. Just All right. whack it in there, man, and you're good oh, to go. Oh, yeah, whacked it in. Cool. Nice. Um, right, so I'm basically just waiting Could on you make bad boys. two yeah. manufacturers if we have the, the tech? Uh, yes. I, I think, think we should we have the tech. should, yeah. Manufacturers. Uh, trees. First of all, do we have any? Probably no. Not. I think I think I I think you can actually shift click one in there because I think I made the stuff to make one earlier. Oh oh, this is uh, much easier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah, it's not not too bad um, at all. We're literally eh? just missing uh, oh, this bad oops. boy. Oh, one there, chat. All right, I got him. Nice. Could you go with me into chopping and flopping? Mm hmm. They need to be placed above the redstone furnace on the left, but I think... So you can place the first one directly above the, the furnace, but they need to have a gap between the second one because uh, the nuclear craft machines don't auto-eject, if that makes sense. So one above... One directly above with no gap, then yeah. a gap, then a machine. Right, got Yes, because then we can do uh, this. Yes. Bingo. I see, I see. Let me upgrade this, and then we can put another augment in there. So this is getting faster, that's beautiful. Uh, yes, we need a servo to pull that out. We then need uh, whatever the last machine is, the pressurizer. You can go and, I guess, did you make one of those earlier today? I did, yes. Do you want to bring that in here? Because I, I don't think we need it for anything else, No, right? we don't, we don't. And it's, it's done its duty. So let me nice. grab a thing. Well, can I just do this? It's all it's all coming together, man. It's, you know, it's, of course. It's been a little slow going, but, but it's coming together. It's We're coming getting, together, man. It's coming together. Here we go. Chop and flop in. Pressurizer. And then again, the same thing there, you need a gap. Oh, okay. And then that's above that second manufacturing. There we go. All yes. Right, cool. So we can go again further up like this, right? So server. So the first one, the, the redstone furnace can just auto eject up, which is perfect. See, this is this I think this should be I think this will work. 
Surely, right now, right? well, the redstone furnace is uh, what I'm thinking here, Nick, is that the redstone furnace here previously was set to eject its charcoal out of the back of the machine because behind here is a tunnel that takes right. the charcoal to make steel, right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm hoping that if we set both the top and the back to outputs, the charcoal will be kind of evenly distributed with half of it being used to make steel and half of it being used to make coal, coal. cook, hot coke. graphite, you know, yeah. the whole yeah. works, right? I don't know how the redstone furnace divvies that up. I don't know if it like sends its first batch of something up and then down. I don't know how it divvies that out. Yeah. Uh, obviously, right now, because the manufacturer is full, it would just send it all out of the bank. Um, but I don't know how it calculates any of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we'll find out. I guess we will find out, yeah. Yeah, uh, okay. We also need some leadstone flux looks, by the way. We do, don't we? Let me go and have a look. Oh, Let's... no, I have five of them. Never mind. Oh, you got some. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, One, two, three, in. four, five. The perfect amount. Look at that. So then it's just redstone furnace numero dos, right? Yeah, so you need to bring uh, that guy good. in here as well, I guess, Yeah, right? I'll bring that yeah, in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We'll just uh, transfer the whole system uh, over yeah. to here. Oh, nice. Nice. Should I be a good boy and use... Uh, uh, the wrench. A there wrench, go, yeah. Oh, you, you. Nice, yeah. thank you. Okay. So is it another gap? Uh, No, no gap required. Oh, no gap required. The thermal expansion machines can just suck straight directly, directly in, yeah. Right, hold on. Let me get a good angle. Might need to put down some cobblestone there or something if you don't have any. We're good, we're good. And the oh, organoid is in. This doesn't work, eh? This, uh, this hopper doesn't seem like it, uh, it doesn't feed into oh, the... Oh, you're not taking the... the... Yeah, oh, I think it is. Oh. I think it is. Because there think? was two stacks and nine when I checked this hopper. No, but, like, but just look, it's not... You can see it's not going anywhere. <laughs> There's a stack of 37 that's just sat there, right? Yeah, but this is a lower number than when I... So I came in when I said... Do you remember when I said, oh, I've got a little bit of fire to grow left? I'll go and add it into the hopper. So I added it in, and there was well over two stacks at that point. So there's less there's less of it in. Oh, now. it's locked by the gate. This, like, the, okay, Redstone is being awkward about it. Uh, ah. That makes sense. Okay. I think this is fixable then. Uh, let's move this. Oh, 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 yeah. We're in business, do man. A, uh, do you want to make a cash as well? Uh, sure, so we can stick sure. a cache next to that redstone furnace and back up on everything. Yeah, and something really, we think know, about yeah. as well. Creosote oil. It looks like it'll fill up quite quickly. Mm. 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 Tasty, so delicious creosote oil. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure we can just make a nullifier. Oh, just to get rid of it. And just void it. Yeah, yeah sure. All right, got cash. Let me go in. Um, okay, so how do we want to do that? Then? That's a good question. Uh, we might. I think we just need to rotate the redstone furnace. Do you have a, a, a wrench? Uh, I've got a scrunch. Will that help? Not at all. I don't. No, think. I, don't, I don't have a wrench. I don't have a wrench. <laughs> uh, if you can get a crescent hammer, real quick. Yeah, I'll make one. Here we go. Uh, uh, that would allow you. I think we need to rotate the redstone furnace so that it faces the leadstone flux duct. Uh, oh, okay. So the yeah, yeah. I get you. So we can pull out the back and the side. Um, yes. Bingo. There we go. Yeah, I think we are good. And then we'll have the cash. Like, oops. So, um, will the redstone furnace also push out without the requirement of any? Kind yeah, of, all yeah, of the okay. thermal expansion machines can push and pull. Oh, beautiful. All right. Well, in that case, I will stick this. As soon as this tree goes. <laughs> that room is getting a little compact now, eh? <laughs> yeah, we're actually, yeah. Uh, Especially with the tree in there. There, man. there we okay. go. Oh, no, it was too low. And that. Let me. And. Here. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Okay. So I have the nullifier. Excellent. Yeah, so here we just want to set. Uh, oops, I just rotated that by accident. There we go. Uh, we want to make sure that the back is an output. For the, uh, oh no, yeah, this is for the coal coke. Fine. Yeah. See, I've said it, but it's not going. Oh no, there uh, it goes. It's oh, yeah. um, and then I was going to put the nullifier just next to it, but uh, if I do that, it'll also nullify the. If I put it to the left and just set that to an output as well, there's no like different output for fluids. Uh, but the good news is, all I have to do is just do this and then the nullifier oh because obviously solids won't go through a pipe exactly yeah yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, good yeah, yeah. nice 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 like that oh 
uh, just set that output as well. And there we go. Look at that. The, the creosote is all gone. Nick, we have automated the production of cold coke slowly, but surely. Beautiful. <laughs> and so Absolutely hopefully beautiful. we can eventually get some. So how much, uh, how many diamond nuggets have you made? So I've I've <laughs> not made any diamond nuggets. I've got 29 <laughs> cold coke, Isaac. So we're actually under the theoretical minimum for minimum required statistically right <laughs> um, however we've got this i'm sure that'll produce 11 and we might be able to get one <laughs> yeah we're at seven there man um oh gosh yeah because we need and we need what three diamond nuggets was the number bloody, right bloody load size so we need 120 cold coke to, to to progress on yeah in our in our, in our world travels. here yeah yeah, in our travels. yeah i mean i can i can add a stack of coal to this redstone furnace just to you know not is the redstone furnace? Oh, yeah, that is, is going. Um, if you come into the uh, cre- immersive engineering room, by the way, uh, you'll see mm-hmm. what I've been working on in here. It's uh, don't do drugs. Uh, I have automated this little on the. If you come over this way and look uh, behind you, uh, this little like wall of garbage. Oh right, okay. Yeah. So the steel, of course, is being pulled from the steel cache on the floor here. Mm-hmm. This is where steel is being made. Goes up to the sequential fabricator, gets crafted into steel pickaxes. Right now, this is not automated. If you look inside that fabricator, it does have 50 sticks, but I put those in manually. Right, uh, those okay. are not coming in. Again, that's sure. one of those situations where a, uh, an exporter is going to make the most sense once yeah. you can do it. Yeah. Uh, the good news is that it takes a while for a pickaxe to get used, and you know we can make 25 more pickaxes with 50 sticks, right? So uh, that'll last for quite a while. And in fact, if I wanted to, we could manually fill up the rest of this uh, with sticks, and we'd be able to make you know hundreds of sticks, uh, hundreds of pickaxes before we need to you know fill it up again. So automation is not necessarily you know super needed asap on this uh, on this setup uh, have you left sure hi yes i someone just made a really good point in the um in the chat where i can i've got speed upgrades on me so i've just gone and sped the tree system up or the um coal coke system up although it'll still be um, yeah I, I, I was i was thinking about that but i think the uh, the bottleneck is even without the speed upgrades the it's still the redstone furnace, furnace. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah i did yeah. think that afterwards uh, but um but no, the good news is, Nick, that now we have, like, look at that, 317 nether quartz. So nether quartz oh, nice. was the only thing stopping us from making more energy upgrades mm, from nuclear craft. Okay, so we can speed stuff up then. Yeah, so um, now we can blast a machine full of, like, 64 energy upgrades and really start to crank out the, yeah, uh, the speed nice. upgrades. Um, nice. And also, nice. the, 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 the side benefit, Nick, that we're going to, again, once we get into refined storage more, once we have the diamond nuggets, we can then take the lithium and the boron that we have here to make uh, oh, sorry, just the boron, even. We can take the boron that we have here, smelt that, automate the production of borons, faxel hose, finally automate the tree farm, because the tree farm is still not automated. Uh, it does still require manually, you know, filling up every now and again. Um, and then at that point, then we can, you know, finally close off this loop of, of, of fullness, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So next time, Nick, we're going to have to come back. We need to take the coal cook that we're making yeah. out of the, the, the cache in the redstone furnace room. And then we need to get that. I think what we could do is we can pick up the crushing machine and put the crushing machine inside of chopping and flopping. Sure, there's enough space for it, right? Yeah, So we can actually exactly. just stick it in there, yeah. Because we need to take that, so we can you know, just like pick this up and move it, because we can take the coal coke, run it through this machine to crush it into the small stuff that it needs to be, right? And then bring it out and into the coke room to do the squeezing. Or we can maybe mm-hmm. even move the squeezer, potentially. Like, it, it, it might not be a terrible idea for us to look at making another one of these yellow cubes, moving the crusher into the yellow cube and putting the squeezer in the yellow cube as well, just so all the machines involved in making hot graphite dust are all in, in the same place. place. Yeah, 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 exactly. As opposed to trying to do all this, like, complicated, you know, machine transfer all nonsense that yeah, we've been uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. struggling with over till now. For but for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the uh, first portion of the uh, today's stream there.